Thank you so much, San Jose. Tomorrow night, an historic night for Bellator, featuring the 205-pound division. Not just a title shot, but a one-night tournament featuring the best in Bellator. Check it out. When you think of UFC 1, you think of Pride, Sakuraba fighting, Hoist Gracie, when I think of the Strike Force tournament, you know, which had all these great fighters, Alistair Overeem, Fabrice Verdum, Fedor, that's where the magic happened. Tonight, Bellator MMA goes back to the future, back to when one night tournaments were the lifeblood of this sport. To create a dynamic light heavyweight tournament that will crown the number one contender for the world title. In the first round, Making his Bellator MMA debut, it's Mr. Wonderful Bill Davis. Mr. Wonderful was my cat in college. Fighting against former light heavyweight champion Emmanuel Newton. I'm capable of finishing you at any second, looking at you across the ring and smiling at you, saying we're going to go another round, and this time I'm going to come after you even harder. Hope is a dangerous thing when left untamed, and I'm going to put his hope into a small little box, put a lock on it, and then, and then we're going to finish the fight. You're in for a treat. On the other side of the bracket, Englishman Linton Vassell battles the outspoken and outrageous King Mo the Wall. Linton Vassell's from England. I call him a black pikey. It's gonna turn sour for him. He's gonna be like spoiled cottage cheese. Stankin'. Well, what I'm gonna do is, is show him who's boss. My statement is winning this tournament. It, my time is, is coming. He's gonna get the beat down of a lifetime. Cause that's what I do. Two matches and I'm the man. These four men are primed and ready to go out and make history and maybe some magic. Whoa! Oh, oh, he got it. There's the tap! Oh my god, this is over! Now behind me, let's give a big hand to the Bellator girls, Tiana, Lindsay, Lindsay, and Amy, and a big hand for the men at the end there who made it all possible. Bellator MMA president Scott Coker and matchmaker Rich Chow. Give it up for him. Now let's get it started with the preliminary fights. Catch them out on Spike.com in the light heavyweight division. The tournament alternate fight, Anthony Ruiz versus Francis Carmont. First in the scale, fighting out of Horse Gold, California. Please welcome Anthony Ruiz. A record of 33 and 20, 17 knockouts, five submissions. He stands six foot two. Two oh five point four for Anthony Ruiz. Please welcome his opponent fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Francis Carmont. Record of 23 and 10, six wins by knockout, 10 by submission. He stands six foot three. even for Francis Carmont. This is the light heavyweight okay, tournament guys. alternate fight. Up, Anthony Ruiz versus Francis Carmont. Give it up for him. Okay, face the crowd, hands up, boys. Let's flex it out. And next up in the featherweight division, 145 pounds, Mike Mallet versus Thomas Dion. First to the scale, fighting out of Waterdown, Ontario, Canada. Please welcome Mike Malak. Record of four and one as a pro, two wins by knockout, two by submission.
145.2 for Mike Malott. And please welcome his opponent fighting out of San Jose, California, Thomas Dion. Record of five and four as a pro, four wins by knockout. One forty five point six for Thomas Dion. Hey, Thomas. All right, guys, come on in. You guys the featherweight division stacked in Bellator. Two fighters looking to make their name in it. Mike okay, Malott crowd, versus guys, Thomas Dion. Give it up for him. All right, guys, good luck tomorrow. Good luck to all you guys tomorrow. Next up in the lightweight division, 155 pounds, Salvador Becerra versus, versus Adam Piccolani. First to the scale, fighting out of Modesto, California. Please welcome Salvador Becerra. Undefeated at 4 and 0, he stands 5 foot 9. One fifty six even for Salvador Becerra. And his opponent fighting out of Half Moon Bay, California. Please welcome Adam Piccolati. Also undefeated at five and oh, two knockouts, one submission. One fifty five point eight for Adam Piccolati. Let's give it up for the lightweights, one hundred and fifty five pounds, Salvador Becerra versus Adam Piccolati. Face the front, guys. Flex it out, boys. All right, guys. Good luck tomorrow. Good luck to both of you guys. Next up, the Bantamweights, 135 pounds, Joe Neal versus Gabe Carrasco. First to the scale, fighting out of Oakland, California. Please welcome Joe Neal. Ah. A record of five and oh, one win by knockout. He stands five foot six. One thirty five point six for Joe Neal. And please welcome his opponent fighting out of San Jose, California, Gabe Carrasco. Record of five and oh, one win by knockout, two by submission. He stands five foot six.
135.4 for Gabe Carrasco. Ten fights between them, no losses. Someone's O has to go. Give it up for Joe Neal versus Gabe Carrasco. Face the crowd, guys. Face the crowd. Face the crowd, guys. Ah! All right. Let's go! He's doing it tomorrow. Come on. You guys get paid tomorrow. All right, guys. Good luck. Okay? Good luck. Next up, the flyweights, 125 pounds, Josh Pava versus Matt Ramirez. First in the scale, fighting out of Vacaville, California. Please welcome Josh Pava. Record of five and one as a pro, two knockouts, two submissions. One twenty six even for Josh Hava. And his opponent fighting out of San Jose, California. Please welcome Matt Ramirez. Record of one and one as a pro. That one went by submission. One twenty six even for Matt Ramirez. Never know what to expect with the flyweights. Let's give it up for Josh Pava versus Matt Ramirez. Okay, guys, face the front. Face the front, guys. Hands up. All right, guys. Good luck. Good luck tomorrow. Coach. And our final preliminary fight of the evening in the welterweight division, 170 pounds, Carlos Rocha versus James Terry. First in the scale, fighting out of Fremont, California. Please welcome Carlos Rocha. A record of nine and three, one win by knockout, eight by submission. One seventy even for Carlos Rocha. And please welcome his opponent fighting out of San Jose, California, James Terry. A record of fifteen and eight as a professional, nine wins by knockout. One seventy one even for James Terry. It is submission skills versus knockout power at one hundred and seventy pounds. Carlos Rocha versus James Terry. Give him a hand. All right, guys, face the crowd. Face the crowd, guys.
All right, guys. Good luck tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow.